Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt Dimas here, and welcome to part 5 of my Let's Play of Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, I figured I'd knock out this part, um, shortly after the previous part. Uh, what time is it? Uh, it's like 10.56, I might as well play until midnight. So, uh, so basically what we, we've done, um, we did this, this, and this, and this, I think. So, let's go down to Skyloft and see what's the dealie. Alrighty, um, alright, we got your boy Link, let's check out his badges, and yeah, that's all handled, smithy, why would you even bother with any of these other swords at this point, <laughs> like seriously, I mean, if you got the Master Sword, you got the Master Sword. <laughs> um, I guess you could use the Fire Rod, I don't know. These ones are pretty good, actually. I might hold on to the 120 one I got here. So, yeah. Anyway, that's some money for me I could use to train a Link. No, can't do that. Alright, well, anyway, let's get into it. Master Sword. <laughs> Alright. Step through one of the portals, appearing in an era of fantastic Check the, make sure all the volume levels are really good. Tell of a land in the clouds, but now he could see yeah. Oh no, it's going back down to 34. Why? Not the first new arrival. I must have closed it or something. There we go. Masters, the floating island faced Check it again. Yep, it's all good. Though vastly outnumbered, Link did not hesitate. Oh yeah, I did shut down OBS, didn't I? Left into the fray to save Skyloft from disaster. Anyway, we're good. I've been doing a bit of thinking over the last hour or two. I was thinking that I should um, go ahead and finish off Baby in Black. It's a new metal album um, that I've been working on for a couple of years now, well, about a year. And I figured I'd finally get around to uh, more than a year, actually. <laughs> um, because I finished Unto Deaf Ears. And I haven't, I wanted to upload that to YouTube shortly, so I'll get it. Actually, I'm probably going to upload all of my music to my YouTube sh channel, because why not? You know what really irritated me? When I was uploading my songs on YouTube, everyone was like, Oh, why are you leaking your own music? And I'm like, seriously, there's like, other people that do it as well. Friggin' Hobson does it, and, <laughs> you know, there's like, bands that upload their own songs and shit to their channel, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. But, um, here I figured I, I, it would probably, I actually uploaded, um, To The Cloud to my channel, song by song, and that was kind of tedious to do that, but, you know, it helped get my name back into YouTube, <laughs> because when you search Matt Demas now those videos come up, um, so that's nice, um, when you search me in Google, I mean, but, um, you know, I figured if I just put entire albums up, that would probably make things a little bit easier for people. I'll be like, um, listen to the entire album here in one video. It, I don't know. I, but the reason why my friend Nick actually suggested to upload the songs track by track, upload to the cloud track by track, because they're like, well, you'll get more coverage on Google. And I'm like, okay, well, well, I did that. And, and I did get a lot of coverage. But, you know, I, I feel like there's so many other songs that I've made that deserve the um, spotlight a lot more than some of the songs on to the cloud. Um, there's, I've done a lot of stuff, and I've, I want to get all of my stuff up, and I want to get my good stuff to be recognized. I want my good songs to be recognized, and, um, you know. I, I said to myself, maybe I'll just upload, um, single songs. Like, I'll just upload the best songs from each album to my channel, like, track by track. So, yeah, and, or, or just do music videos for them, do, like, um, visualizers and stuff for them. So that it's not just, you know, just a song with the album cover. And I figured I'd do it that way. So I'm that's something I've been working on. Trying to get uh get around to doing that. Be nice to finally finish that. But, you know. I 
I like Link's uh, Breath of the Wild costume. I think you can get the Breath of the Wild one for Zelda as well. Um, seeing I own the game, I probably can. I might try that out later if I ever play a Zelda. This is a joke. It's made- this is so painfully easy because I got the Master Sword. Let's get in here. Looks like that's a no go as well. Shit, is something open? Coming back. So I use the Ocarina. Ocarina. <laughs> oh, that wasn't too difficult. I'm loving the uh, smooth frame right now. Hopefully they um, patch this game up so that the performance is a little bit better. That way it'll be even smoother. It, it, I mean, it's not exactly just smooth. 60p you'll ever see with this. Yeah, it's pretty choppy. Um, hopefully they'll update it and make it a bit smoother. That'd be great. Boom. And we got the rock. Knocked up. Alright, so, let's go. Taking ass, taking names, that's what I'm all about. And the gates are open. One's down here. Okie dokie. Get out of here. Taken. Alright, so down here. Get rid of gearing him. Alright, buddy. That was a little bit of a waste. Get back here, you fuck. Your ass. Wow, that was pitiful. Alrighty. Let's go. Oh, I better go help fly. Don't ignore me. Fucking jackass. Oh shit, we got we got a baba. A deku baba. Eat that shit. Get away from there, fly, what are you doing? You wanna get poisoned? Okay. Easily handled. Alright. Let's keep this up. Let's keep the pace up. Let's go ham. Keep the pace up. 
that a boy. Now we explode. Boom. Oof, that was satisfying. Alright, let's keep going. Might as well follow Fi. I guess she's going the right way. Just die, thank you. Alright, keep going. Whoosh. Easily handled. <laughs> okay. Let's take names. Easily handled. No problem. This is oh Skull Tula. Let's go grab that. Alright, where are you? Right here. Alright, where are you, you little handle? Oh, it fled? Well, shit. Well, at least I can go here and take care of whatever's happening here. Oh, hey, buddy. No, you will not pass. <laughs> Pain and failure. Yep. It's alright, buddy. Yeah, we don't win them all. Alright, let's keep going. That's taken. Alright, let's um handle all these guys up here that are causing drama. Shit, they're heading towards the fucking base. I better settle this shit. Alright, let's go. This is as far as you go. Alright, I better handle these other bad boys over here. Cool, level up, I guess. All right, let's head off. Go over here. And take care of business, I suppose. Good. 
Alrighty. Oh boy. Ah, son of a bitch went right past me. I better go get him. He went this way. Oh fuck. I got you, you asshole. Now I think he's gonna go crazy or something, so I'm getting the hell out of here. No? I think that's another mission where he gets invincible or something. I don't know. Um. Oh, yep. Yep, he is invincible. Okay, it's no use going after him now. I need to take this keep. handled easily. Handled with little effort. <laughs> Like, seriously. Oh, yeah. Getting coins for my trouble. Coins, coins, coins. How you doing, buddy? Pew! That to be extreme. Oof. Oh yeah, I guess I'll head to the fairy fountain now to, to fix up Volga. Better end there now, I suppose. Uh, where is it again? Oh, it's over there. Alright, let's run over there. Kidoki, you guys just can get the fuck out. Wham! That's beautiful. All right, and let's open this and booyah! How you doing? so fucking stupid <laughs> but it's fucking great oh boy here we go get that get that shit and booyah there you go all right now Volkan's lost all his um god powers there apparently so let's get out of here <laughs> that's, that's so fucking ridiculous but I love it um, okay, um... I always really like Japanese humor because it's always over the top. You know, it's just, it's just something about it that's just so charming. Alright, let's keep going. Take care of you. Get off my mans. 
Alright, this might take a bit longer than I thought. He's got a bit of health. Not bad, dude. But not good enough. I'm just sitting on him right now at this point. Get rid of this guy too. Uh, thing. Lizard thing. Where did he go? Run away from me, punk. Yeah. What up? I wouldn't have defeated you if it wasn't for those noisy, noisy kids. See you later, buddy. Thanks for the money, I guess. Alright, let's collect some shit. Uh, before the scenario is over. Oh, that looks like they took back this keep. Weird. All right, so that's um one down. Okie dokie, so we've done that, now we're gonna go and do this one. Oh wait, no, we've got this, aha, uh -huh. we've got an extra mission. The Linkle, okay, cool. Let's um, just check her out, see what's going on. Oh, we've got one badge here I can give her. This'll be fun. I love playing as Linkle, she's just fucking insane. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot to drink some, yeah, I unlocked some new mixtures because of the Skull Tillers I've been Killing, um, XP Accelerator, Big Point Smasher. Well, let's, um, let's grab this juiciness. Yeah. Cool. Alright. And we'll give it some levels too while we're at it. There you go. I should make her a little bit more insane. Alright, let's get her, um, we need to get her a decent set of crossbows so that we can really bring the pain. The okay. The so I've never done this scenario before, so we'll, I guess we'll both find out together what we need to do. Because i got no idea. Oh, okay, so I'm um, in prison's getting unleashed. Far above, among the clouds of Skylar, or something? I don't know. The spirit Fi sensed disturbing changes taking place in the land. Convinced that an evil force was stirring, Fi quickly left Skyloft and flew down to the sealed grounds. As Fi raced to the land below, an unexpected ally stumbled upon the very same sealed grounds. It was Linko. She had not yet found Hyrule Castle, but she had managed to find another battle. Okay, let's begin. Oh yeah, I've been, uh, I was doing some, um, research, just, oh, I was just on YouTube, um, yesterday, and, um, I came across uh, Review Tech USA's video about, um, apparently there is a, um, what the fuck? What? Well, that is awkward. Got, like a tiny version of the prison. Okay, okay, anyway, I, I, so I stumbled across, uh, uh, one of Review Tech's USA with, uh, one of Review Tech USA's videos. Uh, Hang on, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, guys, I'm really out of it. Um, 
Alright, so yesterday I um, stumbled across a video that Review Tech USA put out a couple weeks ago about how apparently there's a more powerful Nintendo Switch on the way. And you know what? I'm all for that. If I can get some incredible um, frame... If, if I can get stable frame rates instead of the choppy BS that I've been getting with this thing, then, you know, so be it. Hell yeah. I love having smooth um, smoothness. I mean, uh, and I read apparently it's not going to be... This new Switch is probably going to be on par with the PS4 when it comes to processing, so... It's not going to be, like, any sort of groundbreaking shit. But you know what? Who cares? If it means I can play my Switch games a lot smoother, then, you know, I'm all for it. Any sort of improvement, it will will do me nicely, but... But then, you know, it brings up the thing where it's like... Well, I guess Nintendo Switch is basically going to be like the iPhone, how they put one out every two seconds, but... No, it's, it's, been a, it's been a year since this came out, the Switch came out, so I, I'd say give it another year before they decide to release the um, new Switch. That would that would be fair enough. I mean, I, I, I mean, you could compare it with the whole iPhone BS, but, you know, that shit gets released every year. I'd say give, give the, every couple years, three, two, three, four years, they should update this. this uh, pe companies update their consoles, you know, and... Now it makes sense, I mean you had the PS4 Pro, you got the Xbox, whatever the fuck, I don't really follow Xbox anymore. Um, you know, it's, it makes sense to do it, and you know what, I'm all for it. I'd love to have a more powerful Switch to play with. I'd be able to just get rid of this thing anyway, because it's got some problems with it, like the left um, Joy-Con won't connect, stay connected. Like it always wants to slide off, and there's like blue spots on the screen, I don't know how the hell they got there, but... You know, it doesn't really affect my docked play, so I don't really give a shit. That's why I haven't taken this thing back to Nintendo. I'm willing to just, you know, just say, fuck it, I'll just hold on to this, whatever. And, but, you know, be, uh, if I get this new Switch, I'll be able to, uh, you know, just uh, get rid of the this one for a couple hundred and, so, uh, and be able to play a new, more powerful system. Um, you know, I'm all for that. No problemo. No issues with that. I'm actually kind of excited for it, it means I'll be able to have some better performance with my games. Maybe even be able to play to play Breath of the Wild at 60p. Oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? Um, I mean, it's possible. I mean, if they update the game and give it a 60p um, mod, it, you know, the, the more powerful Switch should be able to play it in 60p. That would just be amazing. I'm all about 1080, 60. I really could give a crap less about 4K. I mean, like, I don't have the fucking storage to be able to deal with 4K footage or... and whatnot. You know, that's why I'm not so... you know... keen on saving up money to get an A7S. I'd rather save up some cash so I can grab an A7... I mean, an A7S2. I'd rather save up money and get an A7S because it's cheaper and it, you know, it does have 4K but only HDMI, so, you know, I'm all about 1080, 60, you know, and, that's right, I, 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 you know, 4K is good and all, but, I don't have the fucking, you got to have a hell of a lot of storage and a pretty badass setup to be able to be able to deal with that sort of shit. I really just can't be fucked. I'm happy with HD at this point. Maybe in a couple of years I'll upgrade, but right now, I don't know. I, I just don't see it being a thing yet. Um, uh, that's probably why I'm going to be grabbing the A7S instead of the A7S2. Um, although it would be great to have an A7S2, it would be just because of the, the quality alone would be amazing. And I'd be able to do better, higher frame rates at 1080, but, or whatever, however that works, I forget, but... You know, but, you know, it's like, if it's, you know, if you, if 4K makes sense, sure, but for a guy like me, it's, it's kind of just, eh, I just don't see the point of spending all that money, you know, just to be, you know, cat, to, to be able to keep up with everyone, like, who gives a fuck? I like HD video, I like 1080p, I, I have two 1080p monitors in my room here, you know, that's, I'm happy with this. <laughs> I, I don't even think I'd be able to even fit 4K monitors on my desk. 
Like, they would be way too big. And that's one of the main reasons why I haven't upgraded to 4K, is because the monitors are so goddamn big. And I think there are smaller monitors you can get, but like I said before, you know, I just got Mark to get, send me an SSD so I could move, like, fucking 400 gigs off my hard drive. Like, I, I was struggling with hard drive space. How do you think I'm going to be able to handle 4K footage? It's not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, you know, as is, as I'm recording in 1080, um, 60p right now, I'm already using up a lot of space. <laughs> Even when I render the final version of each part of this Let's Play, um, you know, I'm using more than fucking 6 gigs for each part. So, it's like, you know, it's it's hard enough as it is to be able to, you know, get, have, have disk space when it comes to HD video, and you want me to you know, upgrade to 4K? Are you fucking out of your mind? <laughs> But, you know, I, I guess once computers get better and um, SSDs or physical hard disks get, the capacities just get insane, then sure, why not? I guess I'll check it out and upgrade. But right now, it's kind of just a thing that exists. 4K is by no means a standard when it comes to YouTube. <laughs> um, it's more like a... It's more like a... It's, it's, it's sort of like... I don't know, it's it's kind of like, you know how like back in um, like the 90s how you had standard def and then you had widescreen? And you know, who the fuck used widescreen back in the 90s? Barely anybody, only movies and shit, <laughs> you know? It's, it's, 4K is just a thing that exists, you know, at this, at right now. It's n by no means a standard. <laughs> um, well, I guess it is a standard when it comes to like, you know, filming movies and shit. And I guess, you know, a lot of enthusiasts use 4K on YouTube and whatnot, so that's fine, I like, I'm okay with that. You know, if they can afford all those hard drives and all that fucking, that high-end GPU and everything, then, you know, have fun with that. I'm trying to save up money to get myself an A7S. You know, I can't really be forking out 2200 bucks for a goddamn A7S2. And then, you know, God knows how much money for 4K monitors. And then, you know, get like the Elgato 4K capture card or whatever. Oh my god, it's just a huge investment. Like, you, if, if you got to take this shit seriously if you if you were willing to um, upgrade like that. But yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, maybe down track I'll upgrade, but right now nothing. I just don't see the point. To be quite frank with you guys, I'm just... I just don't have the hard drive space for it right now. Maybe when SSDs can cost like may, maybe when eight terabyte S SSDs cost like two hundred bucks, and sure, why not? <laughs> um, that'll be in about five years, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> mm, or less. Who knows? I know there's eight terabyte physical drives, but. My experience with physical drives, the, the, the three that I have sitting over here and, and the two internal ones I had, the two... The, you know, they, they've lasted a while, but like all machinery, eventually it's going to break down. With SSDs, I feel like they're just so much more reliable. Because, um... You know, with just no moving parts. You know what I mean? And so, it's like... Well, you know... Um, it's just less BS to deal with. Don't have to worry about your heart head crashes or, you know, all sorts of electrical failures. It's just, you know. So, I don't know. I guess it's okay. I, I like using physical drives right now but just because of the fact I can. And, you know, I have to, I have access to them to store all, to back up everything. Um, for um, long-term storage... I'd probably be using SSDs just because you can just put data onto these things and just keep it on there for like freaking a long time, like upwards of ten years plus. Um, you know, um, yeah, the, the Seagate drives I have now, I have three four terabyte Seagate expansion drives just sitting there, and it's got like. 
three copies of the same thing. Like, it's got my entire D drive and like everything else, like my movies and whatnot, and it's copied like three times or whatever. Yeah. That was a rule that um I had to follow because you know there's always you know if you got one, it's it's a good it's it's usually a good practice to have three backups of your stuff. Um, you know. That's what I learned in IT class, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, th those hard drives alone cost a lot of money, you know. So. And I've got the three terabyte one, which is my D drive, it's an internal um, physical disk, and then I've got like another three terabyte drive, which is my E drive. The three Seagate ones I have are like my J, K, and L drives, so. It'd be nice to be able to finally just get like a whole bunch of SSDs and just put everything on them and just store them away in my closet long term. Because if, you know, it's nice to have physical drives just sitting there running and just keeping all your data, you know, accessible. But at some point, I'm gonna have to just start storing data away, <laughs> you know, on like M disks or SSDs. You know, I kind of like the idea of M disk, but the reason why I went for the SSD route just because it's cheaper, because it only costs like 95 bucks for the 480 gigabyte uh, Western Digital SSD I got, SATA drive I got. I think it's a 2.5 inch or something. I forget. Um, but yeah, and then I just got the um, SATA to USB free converter, and yeah, was able to move all my videos onto it. It was really cheap too. I wanted to get the cru cru um, crucial um, SSD, but there was none left, so I just got the you know Western Digital one. So, yeah, I've used Western Digital for a long time, so you know I'm like, oh, I'm, I was okay with that, I guess, because you know, I like Western Digital drives. Honestly, I kind of feel like they get a bad rap sometimes. But, although. One of the first drives I had fail on me was a Western Digital <laughs> one, so you know, that was bad. Um, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's nice to get, it's nice that um, the, the 480 gigabyte SSDs are so cheap now. Um, the, the SATA ones, the, the nano ones or whatever they're called, I, I can't remember, but. Yeah, then you just get the fucking, get the, um, adapter, converter, whatever you want to call it, and then you can use the SSD as like a external hard drive basically, which is pretty sweet. Um, and what I do, and what I'm using for it now, is just to back up my videos, or just to store my videos away I should say. And I should probably get at least two copies of each SSD. I should get like, I should just have the, the, the the SSD that I stored all my videos on, I should like make a copy of that onto another SSD, and I'll just leave it that. I only need two, really, because I feel like SSDs are so reliable. I probably wouldn't even need to really back up more than twice, or actually more than once. Honestly, I mean, just having the one copy on the SSD, I feel like that SSDs are so reliable. I would be willing to just have my data on that one SSD without backing it up. I'd be fine with just leaving it on there with no. You know, backups. Just because, you know, SSDs, they can last for so long. You know, and this, you know, the failure rate is like just fucking insane. Um, like, you can have these things for decades. I actually have a flash drive from 2006 that still works. I shit you not. That is nuts. <laughs> and that's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm like, well, you know what? I was, I was, I was thinking about it. I'm like, do I really need to bother um, backing up the SSD <laughs> that I just sent all my YouTube videos to? And, like, and I said, nah, probably not worth it. Just because of the fact that I probably won't have any issues with it. But, but then it occurred to me, um, SSDs can fail. So I might have a conversation with Mark tomorrow about it and see what he says about it. See if it, I should just get another SSD and just have a second copy of my 2016 videos and all that other stuff. Just in case. Just in case. And then just shove those SSDs away in the closet and just leave them there forever. Um, now, M-Discs 
that's the thing though, it actually costs more to get like a pack of 5M discs that are 100 gigabytes each and um, to get to the end and and it only cost me 111 bucks to get the SSD and the adapter thing and it costs like a hundred bucks just to get 5M discs <laughs> that are 100 gigabytes you know and then you need to get the, the burner as well which is like another 70 dollars or whatever so it's like well fuck I'm better off with the SSD uh, method so that's why but, but the thing is M discs are apparently able to last like thousands of years <laughs> so it's it's kind of like a more secure backup solution like if you're really paranoid then you know there you go you've got your millennium um, lifespan long lifespan discs and you can store your data forever without worry um, apparently <laughs> um, I'm not too sure about optical media, but I do have DVDs I made in 2006 that I can still read today. So, you know, it's gonna mean something. But, you know... I guess it really depends... If, if, if you're like me and you just want to use SSDs, and probably it's probably the better solution, honestly. Optical storage mediums are nice and everything, but... It's such a pain in the fucking ass. It's trying to burn everything. It takes forever. You know? But anyway, you know. Whatever whatever works for you, guys. Just do whatever works, I suppose. Now? Oh yeah, I used my focus spirit, didn't I? So, I was on the, um, World Wide Web, uh, yesterday, I think I've already, uh, oh yeah, something happened yesterday I forgot to tell you guys about, um, I saw this article about this woman that was actually, uh, died in a restaurant, this guy took a picture of her, of her, with her, like, mouth open and everything, and he put the caption, he, he posted this picture on Snapchat. Like, you know, you've got those captions. And it's like, me. <laughs> I guess he's just, um, sick and tired waiting for his food, I suppose, but... And he compared himself to a woman sleeping, apparently. But she wasn't sleeping. She passed away. <laughs> um, yeah. And that must have been a terrifying experience. Uh, I've never seen someone die in front of me. Probably, hopefully I never see that happen, um, but he must have felt like crap making light of that, you know, without knowing that she was actually dead. <laughs> um, so yeah, that guy probably had a bit of a scare. Yeah, that was kind of an image I'd rather not <laughs> have in my head. Her mouth open. Look like something out of a horror movie. Pretty terrifying. Um, pure nightmare fuel. Gearing him is uh down there. I should probably go in there and sort him out because he's in my allied base right now. So let's go down there before shit gets crazy. in the allied base. I'll sort him out, don't worry. And gearing him is handled. Beautiful. Oh, that's it. Good job, guys. <laughs> Chickens.
How you doing? It really is because of you, Nickel. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that was that. Oh, Harleen crossbows. Huh? Oh, there we go. There's the strong crossbows I was after. Oof. All right. Oh shit, we got new shit up here. Oof. Um, well, where were we just then? <laughs> we were here, here. Oh, we just did this one. Okay, uh... Yep, so we went here, here. Alright, so now we're gonna do Steeled Grounds with Link, I believe. So, let's do that. I don't think we've done it yet. I think we'll wrap this part up after this one. Let's go. Fi, a servant of the goddess Hylia, join Link, and together they Okay, so this is dragon. this takes place after we got rid of Volga. Despite the victory, Girahim managed to slip away in the <sighs> Hoping to destroy Girahim and close the gate of souls, Link followed Fi's advice and hurried to the sealed grounds. The Hyrulean army advanced quickly in order to catch up to their quarry. And that was when Girahim sprang his trap. Alright, let's do this shit. some shit to do. I think this is where the imprisoned we have to confront the in, in, in prison now or something. Or something. Uh, I don't know. I forget. Anyway, let's say it's keep. defeat the East Temple Gatekeeper? <laughs> that guy out there, isn't it? <laughs> 
Bro, let's kick some ass. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna defeat the turn cards as fast as possible. Oh, someone's in trouble over here. Come in, guys, don't worry. Wham. Easily handled. Shit. Now my base is under attack. I better go go down there. And after I grab this keep. Alright. Go to fly. his ass. There we go. Beautiful work. Alright, there's a skull tour over here. Go grab it. Fire's closer, I'll just use her, I guess. <laughs> Come on. Use, use her to get over there. Very nice. Alright, let's get this skull taller. Where could it be? Ah, in here. Ah, shit. Not fucking around now. And there's the imprisoned, I guess. But, but. Is it just me or does he look like that monster from that movie? What was it? I forget. Okay, let's get the Skulltula. 
Thank you. I could have swear I've seen something like that in a movie before. Anyway, let's go to the imprisoned and sort him out. He's been a bit naughty. Better get over here before he starts causing trouble. On my keeps, if that even happens. I'm assuming. Alright, let's uh, do this. Wham! Okay, that put him down. Let's uh, bust out another one of these. Ooh! That wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> this Master Sword is really something, isn't it? Damn it, Ugh, not enough. Got some magic. Shit, wham. That's enough to put him down. Oops, what's he doing? Oh boy. Need to grab that catapult, knock him down. So let's uh, go up here. Ah, it's over here. Alright. Okay, grab it. Get out of here, you fucks. Where's the uh, catapult? There it is. <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that, buddy, but you were, you were causing some trouble there. Alright, let's finish the job. Here we go! Let's do it in dramatic fashion. What the hell? What? What just happened? He threw me off. What? Oh, he's dead. Okay, well, fuck. I unleashed my uh, attack. <laughs> Only me powering it up wasn't powering up was enough to kill him. <laughs> oh, Link, you are insanely broken. Okay, uh, I didn't even know what that happened there. Anyway, um, let's keep going. Let's wipe these guys out so that they won't be a threat to anyone. Nice little um spot uh, rock here. I wonder what could be behind it. Let's have a look. Hmm, treasure chest. Get some weapons. Yeah, weapon drop. Beautiful. Alright, let's get out of here. I've done my job. Alrighty. We're going north, I suppose. Let's head down there. Fly's going that way. I'll follow her. Alright, here we go! Let's keep killing the um... I'll keep avoiding him so that I can keep attacking shit.
Sweet. That was awesome. Very nice. Get out of here. Okay, let's head up here. Let's just go for the um, base, I guess. Don't do that again. <laughs> Demon Lord Giriam. Beautiful name there. <laughs> you know, for kids. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Well, this is kind of an M rated game, so yeah. <laughs> Gonna have a bit of edginess. This is the, one of the edgiest old games you'll ever play, spin off or otherwise. Um. Wham. Apparently my master sword is a Skyward Sword now or whatever. Uh, I I've I've only played Skyward Sword maybe once or twice. I can't really remember the whole deal of that, but uh Yep, we're done here guys. So yeah. The white sword. Okay, interesting I guess. I'm probably never going to use it, but you know, it's there if I ever want to mess around with it. So, another piece of the puzzle. And uh, that's taken care of. So, we've done all of that. Alright, so guys, in the next, next up we'll do the Temple of the Sacred Sword. And, you know, we'll pl keep plowing through. So, I'll see you guys for the next part. Yeah. <laughs>